Friday, March 23rd. I've not uploaded anything in a week, maybe almost a week. Um, I've been sick. I had a really gross head cold and was kind of slobbering everywhere. <laughs> um, not, not my finest hour. Um, and also we've been kind of busy, so I'm just now getting back into the flow of back at the craft table and back to work. Um, my Everything's fine. Uh, my husband's car broke down. Um, and as you know, he has to actually commute. So we've been, his car broke Wednesday? Halfway to work on Wednesday. So basically for the past two and a half days, my life has been drive my husband all the way to work, drive all the way home, go get my daughter, <laughs> drive all the way back, then take my daughter, drive home, then take my daughter to all of her extracurricular activities and drive back home quickly feed her dinner and then we had to drive back out and get my husband at work sometimes not returning home until after nine o'clock at night so um however knock on wood his car um they had to order the part to fix his car something to do with the cooling or coolant or something um it's they had to order the part and allegedly it came in this morning so his car should be ready to pick up by tonight so <laughs> tonight might be my last time having to drive out to go get him um, wow, it is such, we had to, like a couple years ago, one of the cars, when one of the cars was down, um, I had to do the, bring him to work and then come back and then take care of our daughter and then, but he was working a lot closer back then. So it's just been, uh, extra hard this time with him being an hour away. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just exhausted and I'm tired of being in the car. So it seems like I've just for the, this last half of the week, I've just been constantly driving, um, but I am feeling better, so that's good. Yay. Um, and being stuck in the car doing the driving, I'm having a chance to, um, I'm listening to a book on CD, um, Neil Gaiman's uh, nonfiction uh, rewritings of the North mythology. Norse mythology is really interesting, so I highly recommend that if you can get your hands on that. It's been the perfect thing to listen to when I'm driving, so I'm having a good time with that. <laughs> I borrowed that from my library. Um, so other than being sick and car breaking down, not much else to report. Um, my daughter has a busy weekend coming up Saturday. She, tomorrow she has a play date. Then tomorrow evening is the daddy daughter dance. And then Sunday she has a birthday party. The next weekend we're going away to, um, my in-laws in Massachusetts. It, um, it's Easter. Uh, but it also happens to be my mother-in-law's 70th birthday. So we're having a surprise birthday party for her down at her brother's house in Massachusetts. Um, so that's going to be fun and I'm going to be kind of busy doing stuff like that. So um, I've not had a lot of time to do a lot of crafting, but I have been playing video games. <laughs> Getting caught up on my video games. We dusted off the, um, the Wii, the Nintendo Wii. So I've been playing some games and stuff and um just just having a little bit of fun but anyway so i haven't done a lot of crafting but i am really behind on my crafting uh my etsy shop is in good shape i did get um a lot of stuff done for my shop um so i i went into you know taking some time off to be sick and grumpy um <laughs> i did have a lot of stuff already all done so so that was cool um and any orders that i made this past week had had been stuff that is already made so just ready to ship stuff so I literally just had to to pack it up and get it in the mail I do have one order however um, custom order that I need to work on and I'll work on that this weekend so that it can ship and that one's not not very difficult but I do have a huge list of personal cards that I need to make for all of the various things that are coming up um, starting with Sunday my daughter needs a card for her friend's birthday party so um and we have a friend that just had a baby I need to get a card out for her a couple other friends and family with birthdays um next weekend my mother-in-law's birthday one of my husband's aunt's birthday is coming up so anyway so I have a huge list my niece's birthday is coming up in like a week a huge list of cards that I need to make so um that kind of corresponds with an, an inquiry that I got um, I think it was in, in one of my last videos, and, and I'd mentioned it before, um, 
an organization system that I use to keep my projects organized, namely these inexpensive small plastic bins that I pick up at the Dollar Tree. Um, so someone asked that I kind of go over those again. I know that I've done it before, um, but I don't remember which video it was. Um, kind of go over it again and show you how I use it. And I thought it was very timely because um, I have a huge stack of personal projects that I want to be working on so I can kind of um, get all of that stuff put together. But first, hopefully I can keep this brief, a very brief history of where the idea to store these bins comes from. And this is what it looks like when I have a stack of bins um, that I'm organizing different projects in. I can just stack them right on top of each other like this, or you can kind of stack them like this if that makes you a little bit more comfortable. You can keep them in a pile like this so that stuff isn't actually touching the other stuff. I, however, don't have a, a heck of a lot of storage space or, or width. I have just enough space to store the one row of baskets. So I tend to just keep them like this and, and it works out fine. So these are a couple of projects that I have going that I want to keep this stuff together in a basket for a particular reason. Um, like I have some of my de-stash stamps that I have, I did put up on YouTube, but now they're on eBay. So I have all of those sitting together here. I have, you guys remember my Hero Arts kit, which I have not started working on yet, but I will, I promise. Um, so this is all of the stuff from my Hero Arts March kit that I just got, and I keep, I'm gonna keep all of this together um, until I'm done with it. I have a lawn fawn. Um, I've been working with the um, Turn Me On little stamp set, uh, waiting to, to put this together with a card. So I have this sitting here in the basket. I have my uh, Queen and Company fruit shaker basket kit uh, sitting, waiting for me to give this my attention here. I have the lawn fawn uh, Mommy and Me stamp set. Um, all of this is sitting here. And as you can see, I've even gone as far as to color and die cut the little images and just kind of waiting for um for my attention to throw it together in a card and but in the meanwhile everything will will stay in the basket and the advantage to the basket as well let me show you if there's anything else that i want to throw to put together with the project so i'm just grabbing random stuff not necessarily anything that i i'm going to use with this but let's say that i needed <sighs> sorry i'm still quite a bit out of breath from this cold so I apologize for just being really gross in your ears um, you know say that I wanted to keep these things with this project that I was working on but, oh okay great instead of just you know making a mental note or whatever I'll actually just take the items that I want to use with this project and keep it right in the basket and then usually on days when I have a lot of, a lot to get done <clears throat> I'm going through all of my projects and I'm doing you know, I'm just grabbing one basket at a time and I'm taking everything out and I'm doing everything that I needed to be doing. And then, you know, my materials will go into a separate basket, which I'll show you uh, here. I keep a larger basket. It has some of my packaging material in it, but mostly I'll just toss this stuff when I'm done using it in that basket. And at the end of the night when I'm picking up, I take that basket and I just walk around my craft room and put the stuff away. So that's how it works for me. <coughs> Excuse me, I am so sorry. I'm very gross. However, I do not need those items, so I'm going to put that away. So where this um, this whole basket organization came from, it's kind of a long story, <laughs> and I've told it before. Uh, but don't forget that I have um, obsessive compulsive disorder, so I respond really well to routine and rituals and stuff like that. Um, in my life before I became a, a mother, a stay-at-home mom, so we're talking like 10 years ago. Um, I used to be a certified pharmacy technician. So I was, um, I worked, um, my last job I actually were, I didn't work in retail, but the job before that I worked in a retail pharmacy. Um, and basically I was the one that you would, if you were sick and you got a prescription from your doctor, pretend this is a prescription, and you would walk up to the counter and I would be the one to greet you at the counter and I would take the prescription and I'd take your information and then I would type the prescription and, um, <clears throat> And then um, I grabbed some pill bottles. I would type the prescription, then I'd print the label, and I'd count your pills and put them in a bottle and put the label on it. And in this particular, I've worked in several different retail pharmacies in my career, but this last one was the most organized, and that is why this particular method sticks in my mind. They had all these fabulous baskets behind the counter. So um, 
when I was done with doing your, as far as I could with your work, I would take all, I would put your prescription and the pill bottle and then your prescription bottle and I would keep all of this together. Um, and then I would do, then I would work on the next one and then I'd have the next one and the next one and the next one and, until I had a whole nice stack of stuff. And then this, this, this is what would go to the pharmacist who would, you know, take everything out and double check everything and make sure that it was okay. And then this, you know, the bulk pill bottle would get put away and then the receipt and the pill bottle would go to the customer. Um, but I really loved how this particular pharmacy kept everything together in the basket, <laughs> which is a, a, a vast difference from the way that it used to be um, at the pharmacy that I was actually trained at. And I loved working there, so I'm not, um, I'm not trying to, uh, to devalue any of the lessons they taught, but they used to just keep on, on the counter, you would just put, like, if this was the written prescription from your doctor, and then the receipt from the printer, and the, then you would just keep everything like this on the counter, and it would wait for the pharmacist to come through and then check all your stuff. And that always, I never really had any issue, but it always used to bother me because it's like, well, what if somebody accidentally knocked the counter? Um, and you know, you got pill bottles mixed up or whatever. It really used to bother me. Again, I never had any problems, but just with the way that my, um, my brain likes to keep things separate and organized, it always used to bother me. So when I started working at this other pharmacy in the city, it was a lot busier, first of all, but, um, the way that they used to keep everything in the basket really appealed to me. So that is kind of the background of how um, I got to learn to work with baskets for small projects, like working on prescriptions or little crafts. So it occurred to me, I don't know, maybe five or six months ago, gosh, I really wish that I had a way to keep all of my little projects organized because I have very limited space where I work in my house. And because I, I do a ton of personal projects, personal cards, I do, I'm in several happy mail and paper crafting groups where we do exchanges. I have an Etsy shop where I sell cards and I make other stuff. So I usually have just a ton of stuff going at any given time but all I have like really for workspace is what you see right here on the camera like this is it this you know couple of square feet of space on my desk is all that I have in this whole house I'm not saying that like I have tons of craft stuff everywhere mind you but this is all that I pretty much have to work so it takes up a lot of space if I'm working on you know my hero arts kit and I have that stacked right here you know and it's blocking off the Cricut and what if I needed to do something with the Cricut and I needed the Cricuts right here what if I needed to pull that out to do something and just it became a huge mess and it was really frustrated so my brain instantly went to what if there's a way that I could organize this and make all of my little projects super portable and I was like oh my gosh Back when I worked for the pharmacy, those little baskets, that was fabulous. I wonder if that would work. Um, and the next time I was in Dollar Tree, I saw a three pack of these baskets and I grabbed it and I brought it home and I tried it and it worked super well. So I went back and got a few more packages and now I just, it's great. And I even have a, a spot um, and I'll show a, a picture of it, but I have a spot um, above my work area on a dresser that I have next to my desk where I just keep all of these stacked up together. And when I'm ready to work on my stuff, I just pull the pile of the baskets down and I can even keep all of this stuff on my desk and just, this is right next to me, uh, and just grab and then work on my project. Move it aside, grab on the next one, work on that project, move it aside. So it, I really love the way that it works out and I hope that, um, that it can inspire somebody else to kind of look into different ways to sort their stuff. Again, I like to keep mine stacked up like this because it takes up less surface space and it doesn't really hurt anything to have, the, you know, even though it looks kind of like the leading tower PC here, it doesn't really hurt anything to have it stacked like that. But you could certainly uh, stagger stack them as well if that makes you a little bit more comfortable. It's just easier for me with my limited space to, to keep them stacked up this way. So um, I would thought I would show that off again. That's pretty much it. All I've got with that. These are kind of some of the things that I pulled out to work with what I'm working with. So I figured I would try to get some of these sorted into baskets. I'm going to need to get more baskets from somewhere. <laughs> I have too many projects going on. Um, I just uh, I keep getting carried away here. <laughs> um, so there's a whole bunch of stuff. Let me show you guys what I actually what I pulled out to work on over the weekend and into next week. Obviously I have my Technique Tuesday um, little stamp set that I use on my personal cards. These are just a riot, some really funny sentiments that you can stamp right on the back of your cards. Um, I love them and I, it's never too far away for me. I have the new Lawn Fawn Rub-A-Dub. 
set, which I haven't even had a chance to open yet. This is going to be, I'm going to make a baby card for our friend that had a baby. Um, I plan to make an extra card to put in my Etsy shop. I plan to um, make a Mother's Day card, a couple of Mother's Day cards with this, um, a Father's Day card. I think that might be it I'm doing with this one. Um, I have this set from Spellbinders, which I hadn't had a chance to use yet. Um, it's the So Perfectly Radishing stamp and dies, which I thought would be fun just to make a quick little card. Um, I have to make a birthday card for my um, friend's husband, so I thought that um, the sloth would be perfect, and I pulled this out um, to work on it, and I noticed that I had a couple of spare sloths that I had already colored, so this project is going to be whew, super easy. So I'll just pull out the sloth here and then use the sentiment and then this card is done. So that one's super easy. Um, I'm planning on making a couple of my cards um, pivot pop-ups. A couple of the um, the, the rub-a-dub-dub -dub, and then I've got my hay there in this pile as well. So I pulled out my pivot pop-up set to play with that. Um, this is for something else. I need to make a card for someone who's a dog lover. So naturally I pulled out my... Uh, my top dog, my favorite thing, stamp set. I don't have, I'm not a dog person, so I don't have a lot of um, dog stuff. <laughs> so this this particular set is my kind of go-to whenever I have to make a dog theme thing. Um, I just, I don't like the stamps. I like the, um, the frame, not stamps, I, the dies. I like the frame dies better than these full coverage ones because I have such difficulties cutting these were cutting them and trying to stamp directly. I just, I have such difficulty with that, but, but I thought that I would uh, give it another try and pull that out. Um, I just mentioned I have the Lawn Fawn Hay there out here. Um, I have the, um, Whimsy Stamps Barnyard Band that I'm going to make a couple of cards with. And then I have this, um, this Simon Says Stamp a uh, stamp set called Happy Days, which is cute, and I wasn't planning on using the actual stamps, but I wanted the sentiments out of here, um, or a couple of the sentiments. There's a thank you teacher, and then there's a world's best teacher miniature sentiments out of here. I thought that I would make some um, thank you cards for uh, band and music teachers. So that's why I have all this out. So those are kind of some of the things. I don't even know how far that's going to get me on my little, li my little list here. Um, the priority, of course, is going to be the one birthday card for I need for my daughter's friend on Sunday. So as long as that gets done and everything else, I have at least a week to work on that. So um, I'll be using my baskets here to keep stuff sorted. I'm going to use these two stamp sets together. So that'll go here. Um, I'm going to make a couple of, and I'll break it down further, a couple of pivot pop-ups with a few of these sets here. So I'll keep all of this together here. Um, I need a dog set. And I'll keep this next to me. So I'll put this here. Here and here and here. Put this here. And now I'm out of baskets, but you get the point. Um, when I finish up and I, I clean out a basket, I will I'll keep this here and grab another one. So um, basically, I'm probably going to have some lunch because it's almost lunch times. But after lunch, I will. Uh, I've got my stack of baskets here. The only thing I'm going to prioritize is that um, that birthday card. But once that's pulled out of the pile here, I will just literally be grabbing a basket and working on that project. Um, sometimes I get to a point where I have to stop doing something and, and I have to pick up for the night and that's great. I'll pick everything up and then I put it, put everything together in the basket and then set that aside for the next day. I don't like to leave stuff out. Um, I do have cats that are kind of jerks <laughs> and they'll jump up here at night. So I don't like to leave um, stuff out of my desk. Um, and sometimes I try to, you know, kind of batch work on everything. So, um, I'll pull out a basket and then say I need to stamp, I need to do some stamping and some coloring. I'll pull everything out um, and then I'll stamp all of the images that I need for that and then set that aside. And then I'll pull the next one and I'll stamp all the images. And then I'll cut all of my things together. And then I'll go through and I'll, one by one I'll die cut and then I put the die cuts in the little envelopes or if I'm, it's, if, ugh, if it's currently something I'm working on I'll toss it in the, the, uh, to, uh, <laughs> the little basket here and keep it all together and then I'll go all through and then I'll pull it together and do a card so so anyway so um, I'm really sorry if this was not interesting to you uh, this is again just kind of uh, 
a, a request to somebody had asked me to go through this a little bit further and I thought that I would give you a little bit of the history behind where this came from. This is not just um, some weird <laughs> fetish <laughs> on collecting cheap dollar store baskets. They, they do serve a really important person for me and you can see um, that even though I have tons of projects and I even had projects that were already I was kind of already working on before so but this is it this is everything that I have out so far that I'm working on so at the end of the night I don't have 20 different projects spread everywhere I'm just popping this back on the shelf and then I'll grab it again tomorrow morning when it's time to get started again anyway that's what I got thanks very much for watching I, I wish you all well and I hope that you're all having um, a really nice week and I wish you a really nice weekend we're gonna be a little bit busy so you probably won't hear from me until next week but hopefully next week I will have some actual stuff to show you <laughs> that I've been working on uh, that's it you guys take care have a good one bye bye